couple messages for the viewers, so pick a section, have a seat. Yeah, I know this is different. Quit with the questions. Allow me a second, please, to make my first impression. All right, YouTube. And all my friend toy collectors out there who've been sending me pictures of the Spider-Man Far From Home new costume. Been getting pictures left and right. You're going to do this. You're going to do this. I'm, gonna, I'm like, oh, I don't know. I have so many commissions and so many side projects that I'm in the middle of that I didn't really want to do this. But I had to stop everything. I just stopped everything. And I made this for you guys because I know everyone wanted to see it. The Far From Home is going to come out soon next year, I believe. I'm not sure. And... The costume is really, really cool. It actually reminds me of the S.H.I.E.L.D. suit. Some people are saying that it reminds them of the Miles Morales costume, and then others are saying it reminds them of the Superior Spider-Man. However, the late Steve Ditko, rest in peace, created the Spider-Man costume to be black and red with a little bit of blue shading on the cover. And for years, a lot of people thought it was blue. And so they recreated Spider-Man with blue and red, and that became his iconic colorway. But black and red was his original colors. Another reason why I didn't want to make this suit, other than being busy, was Hasbro's definitely going to come out with it. I mean, the reason why most of the time you see new costumes in these films are for merchandise. And so you better believe they're going to capitalize on it. And I don't see why not. I mean, you want to buy the figure, right? Everyone's excited for the costume, so I'm pretty sure everyone wants the figure as well. And shout out to Plastic Addict, because he sent me pictures on this too and his excitement kind of just like ignited my excitement for the costume even though i seen it four or five times prior to him sending me some pictures but you know another toy collector being excited about a specific costume made me a little excited so i just went along and did it and it was pretty quick to do if you want to make yourself one of these all you need is a homecoming figure or a civil war figure or even the two-pack with him and Iron Man, either one of those would work. This is a homecoming figure, the single pack figure. I added some sculpt on the arms to cover the cobwebs, and then I painted that red stripe where his elbows are, and also covered his webs on the hands as well, and then painted that white around the logo, which was pretty hard. But everything else was simple. It was black and red, a little sanding here, and voila, you got yourself a far from home Spider-Man. Is it doable for everyone? It depends. That white logo on the front is not easy. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. You got to be really precise. It's, it's precision painting. So you mess up, you got to paint the red. I didn't touch the red. I wanted to give it a more brighter look and remove those dark wash webs. But then if I add red, I'd have to sand down everything. The logo in the back, I thought was going to be difficult. And to be honest, it kind of was. I had to do it in sections. You can't do it all in once because it's so small, you'll press the sculpt in. But it was easier than the Iron Spider logo I made a while back. Let me show you. Inspiration picks. You see both of the costumes side by side. The blue homecoming one and the black far from home. The logo swaps, the color change. And in the front also you see the logo swap and the color change. And it looks really cool. So I grabbed myself my homecoming figure. I just recently opened in the video. And then I added some sculpt on the arms, added the logo. I thought the logo was too thick. But then I knew when I painted it, I can disguise it with black and make the, the legs look wider than they really are. And so I was happy with it. Everything you see black had to be sanded first. Under the arms, uh, a little bit of the butterfly joints, double jointed elbows, and the double jointed knees. All had to be sanded. This figure will maintain its articulation, but if you want to see him next to some more Spider-Man, here we go. All the movie Spider-Man from the Homecoming, well, from Civil War on. And if you want to know, this is the Civil War figure. Came in a three-pack, Captain America and Iron Man. Then this is the homemade Homecoming suit. Then this was the, this is the two-pack, actually, the one with Iron Man. This was my Homecoming figure, and this is the two-pack. So I don't have a Homecoming figure anymore. It would be in front of that. This used to be the, the Homecoming, now it is the Far From Home Iron Spider from the Avengers and also my custom Iron Spider, Aaron Davis. Well, there's not much more I can tell you about this figure, so if you like this review and this figure, feel free to hit that thumbs up, comment down below, let me know your thoughts on this, of course, and feel free to subscribe for more content, we will have some stuff coming soon, and I appreciate the love, guys. I'm real Spidey, yes I'm the real Spidey, all you other fake societies are just the dumb Spidey, now won't the real Spidey please stand out, I don't know what I'm saying. Oh my god, boy, I want to do the voice too, give me one like that, my friend. Okay, I am me! Oh, it's not so funny! You choose to
subscribe, you the man, yes you Everyone below in the comments, yes you too Thank you very much for showing me love, who knew It's ironic how we think out the box for you too, right? Sing, 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 sing. Everybody